Okay, so now we're going to look at this example of balancing a redox equation. So let's say you're given this particular equation to balance. So let me just go through the steps so that you understand how we go about balancing it. So the first step involves separating this equation into two half equations. So the first half equation would be CR2O7 2 minus to CR3 plus and the second half equation is N2 to NO2 okay the next step involves balancing all atoms accepting hydrogen and oxygen in the traditional way so in the case of the first half equation that would be chromium you have two chromium atoms on the left side you have only one on the right side so I will put a 2 there to balance the chromium atoms. And in the case of nitrogen, there are two nitrogen atoms on the left side. There's only one on the right side. So I'll put a 2 in front of the NO2. So that's how we balance all atoms excepting hydrogen and oxygen. Now, to balance oxygen, we need to add water to balance oxygen. So basically, we add water molecules to the side that is more deficient in oxygen. So applying that to the first half equation, you'll notice that we have seven oxygens here, but we have none on the right side. So I would simply add seven water molecules on the right. For the second half equation, you'll notice that there are a total of four oxygens here on the right side, but there's none on the left. So I would add four water molecules on the left. Okay, so the next step is where we balance the hydrogens. Um, and we balance the hydrogens by adding hydrogen ions to the side that needs it. So for the first half equation, that means that we have 14 hydrogens here. We have none on the left side, so I would add 14 hydrogen ions on the left side for the first half equation. For the second half equation, you have a total of 8 hydrogens on the right. I'm sorry, on the left. You have none on the right, so therefore I would add 8 hydrogen ions on the right. Okay, so, so far we have balanced all the atoms, but there's one thing we need to do for both half equations, and that is to balance the charges. We have to make sure, when we're balancing the charges, that the total number of charges on either side are the same. All right, now let's apply that to this half equation here. Remember, we had 14 hydrogen ions here, so therefore there are 14 plus charges. We have a minus two here. So 14 plus charges minus two gives you a total of plus 12 on the left side. However, on the right side, we have a total of plus six because all the charges comes from the two chromium ions, each of which carries a plus three charge. So in this particular case, we have plus six on this side, plus 12 on the other side. So the question is, how do we balance the charges? And the answer is we add electrons to the side which is higher in terms of the charges. Um, now the question, the next question is how many electrons do we add? Well, in this particular case, I would add six electrons. And the reason why I would add six electrons is because by adding six electrons, I'm adding six negative charges to the 12 plus charges that is already there and that will reduce the total charge on the left side to plus six, which balances with a plus six on the right side. All right, so that's how we balance the charges. We balance the charges by adding enough electrons to the side which is higher in charges so that that side, total charge, will be brought down to be equal to the charge on the other side. Now for the second half equation, we have a total of zero charges here, but here we have a total of eight plus charges. So what I would do in this case is add eight electrons, which, which is tantamount to adding eight negative charges. So therefore, you're gonna end up with a total zero charge, which balances with a zero here, all right? Okay, so now we have two half equations that are balanced. So the next step is to ensure that the number of electrons lost in one half reaction is equal to the number of electrons gained in the other, other half reaction. Now you'll notice that I circled the number of electrons in both cases and they're not equal. So we have to get some way of making sure that the number of electrons are equal in both half equations. 
How do we do that? Well, in the case of the first half equation, what I would do is multiply that half equation by 4. So this becomes 4, 6 is 24 electrons plus 4 times 14, so that's uh, 56 hydrogen ions plus 4 chromium or dichromate ions. And then on the right side, I would have um, 8 chromium 3 plus ions and 28 water molecules. All right? So that's how I would balance that first half equation. The second half equation, I would simply multiply this by um, 3. Okay, so when I multiply right through by 3, I'm going to end up with 12 water molecules plus 3 nitrogen N2 molecules to give 6 NO2 molecules, <coughs> excuse me, plus 3 eighths 24 hydrogen ions plus 24 electrons all right and then what I would do is add both electrons canceling common items on both sides now obviously that means that these 24 electrons will cancel out with these 24 electrons right um, what else will cancel out well these 24 hydrogen ions will cancel out 24 of the 56 and that would leave behind um, 32 so let me write 32 here hydrogen ions and then these 12 water molecules will cancel out 12 of these 28 leaving behind 16 water molecules and then we simply add up what is remaining and what we'll be left with is 32 hydrogen ions plus 4 dichromate CR2072 minus minus plus 3N2 so that takes care of everything on the left and then on the right 8 chromium 3 plus plus 16 water molecules plus 6 NO2 and that should be the final balance equation but of course I would advise you to check everything to make sure it's balanced, including the charges. I'm going to start with the hydrogens here. We have a total of 32 hydrogens on the left, 16 times 2, 13 hydrogens on the right. We have a total of 8 chromiums here, 8 chromiums. We have a total of 4 times 7, 28 oxygens. We have a total of 16 plus 6 times 2 is 12, so that's 28 oxygens. We have 6 nitrogens here six nitrogens here and then as far as the charges are concerned we have 32 plus charges so plus 32 and then four times minus two that's minus eight so 32 minus eight gives a total of 24 plus charges 24 plus charges and then if you look on the right side we have eight times plus three here so that's also plus 24 charges so this equation here will be the final balanced equation. Okay, um, I'll see if I can post another video with another example.